Hi, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to uh, talk to me a little bit about um, an acoustical logo, let me see, a jingle, and uh, a sonic brand, which we would like to say is an emotional brand. Now, what's the difference between music logos, which is basically a couple of notes put together in a certain order, um, and emotional branding? I would say it's something that if 100% of the time, less than 60% of the people are interest, and interested less than 40% of what we do. No one's getting up in the morning saying, hey, I wanna hear those jingles. I'd say an emotional brand is something that you find interesting, the way it sounds. And it's something you remember. And if you remember it, you place a value on it. And it's that value that our listeners place on that logo, makes them feel a certain way. That's the brand. So when considering a package, it's important not to find a composer who writes the four notes or five notes or the musician who plays them, but finding an interpreter, someone who understands the musical psychology and putting that together in a construction, as we say, an interpretation that um, um, allows for um, an emotional brand to take place time and time again and to basically be able to keep it fresh. Hope that's um, helpful to you in some way and um, best of wishes to you with your emotional brand.